whether it be a kettlebell or a dumbbell, either one. And then if you have a uh, fold-up towel or a pillow or something, we'll spend a little bit of time kneeling today. Um, so if you have that around you, go ahead and grab that. Um, give you a minute there. We're just going to stretch in the meantime. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of T-spine work. We're going to be focusing on our shoulders today, so make sure we have some mobility in there. Um, you're going to interlock those fingers together. You're going to push those palms away from you and let that back round as much as you can at upper back. You should feel kind of putting space between those shoulder blades and your spine. Really reach out as, forward, as far forward as you can. Then you're going to flip those hands around and you're going to pull those shoulder blades back. Um, if you can, try to keep those arms straight. Create tension through the arms there and through that upper back. Then we're just going to flip that around. We're going to get about three or four of these. Just again, creating as much space as possible. And then turning around and creating as little space as possible. Nice and tight. Really make sure to tuck that chin in. And then one more time. Pushing those palms away. And pulling those shoulder blades back. Squeezing tight. And relax there. And check that out. So we're going to drop down to the ground. Do a little bit more shoulder mobility work in the form of some shoulder taps. So we'll get down into our high plank position. Make sure we're nice and stabilized here. We're going to pull those abs in nice and tight. So opposite hand to that opposite shoulder. We're just going to get... About 10 or so. I want to think about every time that hand touches that shoulder, we are finding balance and then replacing that hand to the ground. So not meant to be fast, but actually meant quite the opposite. We want to work through these nice and slowly. Really finding that gravity, engaging that core, certainly the stability of that shoulder. Then letting those hips move as little as possible. One more time each side. And good. We'll roll it up there. I'll mobilize hips here for just a minute. We're going to some world's greatest stretch. So we're going to take a nice, good, long lunge forward. We'll drop both of those hands down by that front foot. We're going to take that inside elbow to instep, reaching for the ground. Pull for about a second, then we'll put that up to the ceiling. Hand goes to the outside of the foot, shifting that weight back, toes to nose. Push that foot down and step it up. Other side, do a long step forward into that runner's lunge. Take that inside elbow to instep. Open it up. Hands to the outside, toes to nose. Push that down and roll it up. We're gonna go one more time each side on that world's greatest. At your own pace, if you need to hang out in a pose a little bit longer, certainly feel free to do so as always. This is your warm up. So get what you need to get warmed up. Those hamstrings are yelling at you a little bit. You can hang out here. And last time on that other side. Really open those hips up. Wake them up. Maybe you've been sitting for many hours today, which is not unheard of. So we'll get a chance to get some movement in this evening. Great. All right. Our final thing here, uh, warm up a little bit of that strength, a little bit more of that core stability. We're going to do some eccentric push-ups. So we'll drop back down to our high plank position. What we're focusing on is lowering ourselves down to the ground relatively um, as slowly as possible. Okay. So still kind of warming up, so maybe it's not um, perfectly slow motion, but we're just going to work to lower ourselves, bring that chest to the ground, 
Once we get into that ground, you can get up however you need to. I'm not really focused on that concentric part. We're just gonna work to slowly lower ourselves down. Just find that body control. Boom. If you want to do that strict push-up at the end to get back to that starting position, by all means. But we don't necessarily need to use that strength. You know, with two more here. Slowly lower. Bring yourself nice and softly down to the ground. And last time, getting that chest fired up. Triceps going. And bring it on up. All right, so main focus today is going to be some half kneeling overhead press, okay? We're going to combo that with some shoulder raises, so it's going to be a highly shoulder and upper body focused day today. So we'll do it from this side. You can bring one knee down, one hand, or one foot in front. So a few things to note of this position, kind of your, your typical kneeling position. I want to see that back toe curled up and under. Okay, so we're putting tension into that foot. That's going to help us turn on this glute. Okay, um, it should be putting relatively, uh, or should be putting some effort into this position. All right, shouldn't be very passive, just kind of hanging out. Uh, we want to make sure that we are pushing through that glute. We're opening this hip. Everything's squared up right to the front. This knee is facing forward. There's no kickstands, legs not cocked out to the side, or this back foot is put in either direction either. It's going straight back. Front leg is going straight forward, and we're nice and squared up. Okay? Those hips are going to be pulled up, that belt buckle nice and shiny to the front, and this is going to be our half kneeling position. Okay? Before we grab that weight, start by what we're looking for. Uh, whatever knee is down, that's going to be your pressing hand, okay? Um, a few different positions. We can go in our front rack position, right? Or we can be in kind of our lateral position, okay? Either elbow going forward or elbow out to the side. Whichever one, I do encourage you to mix up both as we go through the routine today. Uh, so wherever you want to start is fine. When we finish, both is going to have the same finished position. That's going to be straight up overhead, okay? Um, this is not straight up overhead. This is not straight up overhead. This is not straight up overhead. All right, I want you punching the ceiling straight up overhead. In that position, that bicep is going to be to your ear, okay? And you're going to be a nice straight line from the top of your knuckles down to that kneeling knee. All right, so take a minute. Find this position. It may seem silly, but I want you to be... Uh, very aware of how your shoulder reacts to this position. If there's any impingement, if there's any issues of getting that elbow fully extended, why don't you be aware of that now? All right, go ahead and take a relax. Um, so when we get into that position, it should be an effortful position. Like I said, it shouldn't just be kind of hanging out with your arm raised. All right, you should be actively punching the ceiling, contracting those triceps, shrugging that shoulder, getting every little bit of musculature involved in that press. Okay. Um, that's going to be all the explanation of that that we have. So go ahead and grab your weight, whatever weight. You can certainly build yourself up as well if you have a few different options to pick from. Make sure that back toe is tucked under, that glute is squeezed, and we're going to press for five in control, pressing up, find that finished position, and we're lowering back down. Make sure that we're coming to a full rest at the bottom before we press again. All right, so you should be feeling that core nice and involved. I like to keep that hand on my belly button just to remind myself to hold that core nice and strong. We're not going to be leaning back as we press. We're going to keep that head nice and tall to the ceiling. There's four. We're going to go one last one. Pressing up, good punch to the ceiling. And back down. All right, we'll switch sides here. Remember, whatever knee is down, that arm is going to press. All right, so nice and tight. Make sure everything is engaged. Now we're pressing up for five good strong reps. Nice good pause at the top. Nice good pause at the bottom. 
So notice I'm not pumping this weight out, although it may be a little bit lighter sometimes or limited in the weight that we have at home. This is a perfect movement to kind of work on that lighter weight, working on that control. And that's four or more. Good bicep to ear and five. All right. So we're going to hop that up. And we're going to go into our secondary movement, which is going to be a front raise, a little bit more shoulder work. So whether you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, both hands are going to be on it. We're going to go with nice straight arms, lifting up and back down. We're going to go for 10 right here. So relatively same cues and the fact that we're going to be in control of that lift and lower. Pausing at the top, pausing at the bottom, making sure we're not swinging that weight, but we are indeed lifting it. Got three to go here. In control last time. All right. After a 10, we'll take a quick break and shake that out. So we will have a, a bit of a breather at the end of each set. So if we're ready to rock and roll right into that next set again, let's try to put a little bit more emphasis on the control, on that creative tension within the body, each of those sets, okay? A um, few other things to think about. As we kind of talked about, that core stability is going to be huge. We want to make sure that we are not leaning back. That becomes... Uh, or that comes from a lack of, of, of tension in that core. So make sure we're kind of pulling those abs down. Think about that rib cage and those hips or creating uh, or restricting stress, space between those two. If we find that we're lacking in that abdominal control, we're going to create a lot of space in that abdominal region. All right, so we're going to work to close that door a little bit. All right, let's get back down to that kneeling position. Like I said, if you want to try... Um, in that front rack position or in that lateral position, all right, whatever one you didn't do last time, you can try that second one this time. We're going to go same thing, a good five overhead press, nice and strong, working on that shoulder, that tricep coming in to help. And again, I want to recommend that you really slow the pace down much slower than you may normally work on that overhead press. Getting to that top position, that bottom position, and getting a very slight pause. And relax. All right, you may notice with that weight a little bit farther out and that lateral, feel those obliques starting to fire up on that opposing side. All right, think about it on this side if you didn't last time. Nice, good five up overhead. Boom. Take a look at my elbow on that down position. We're coming just underneath the level of that shoulder. I'm not coming all the way down here. All right, and I'm not keeping that arm here. We're bringing that to the head of the dumbbell or the kettlebell right about to that shoulder and pressing back up from it. So maintaining that good control to where we're able to hit that position each and every time for each subsequent rep. Number five, right here, and relax. All right, I feel those obliques fired up a little bit more on that time. I'm going to grab that weight. We're going to go right into those front raises around number two. Ten good strong reps. Again, if you can, hang about keeping those arms nice and straight. Still lifting with those shoulders. Sometimes it's going to be um, very testing to shrug those shoulders up. But if we can, think about pulling those shoulder blades down, locking those into our back pockets, just pulling with those delts, those big pads on the top of the shoulders. So keeping that breath, three to go. Not rushing through this, being patient. Good. Making that work, uh, making that weight work for us. All right. There's two rounds down. We're going to go 
another one here in just a minute. Make sure those arms are shaken out. It's going to be our final round here. Um, so in terms of that anterior or lateral position, either one of those, or if you want to mix it up, uh, two reps on one, three reps on the other, your choice. But we're going to get down, get back into position. As we go into this third round, all the more important to make sure those hips are where they need to be, right? Nice and tucked under, creating that tension through the glute. Those hips are nice and level, all right? Let's get that weight up. Let's get our last round here. Pressing up and bringing it back down. Pause at the bottom, pause at the top. Make sure that we are really getting that punch to the ceiling, getting that full extension. You should feel that all the way through that hip down to that knee. Get a little stretch in the quad at the same time. Last one. Boom. A little switch sides. Last five reps here. Bring that up. You want to, you can work on this even slower, going about a moderate pace here, but we can certainly bring that tempo down even more, creating that time under tension. Last two reps. Not always about the weight, it's about how you use that weight. Make that more effortful for you. And relax. All right, last little bit of shoulders here in some front raises. Last 10 reps. Nice and strong. Pull those shoulder blades back. Good, proud chest. Abs nice and tight. Let's lift. And uh, all 10 here. Focus on those shoulders. Lifting with those shoulders. So we're talking about keeping those arms nice and straight, those elbows straight. Uh, we're going to want to kind of curl that up a little bit. But if we keep those elbows nice and extended, we have nothing to use but those shoulders. Get a little bit of finger strength holding on to the heads of that dumbbell if you have it. Or holding on to the handle of that kettlebell. We've got four to go. Nice and tall. Try not to lean back. Stay strong. Head to ceiling. Last two. And number 10. All right. Take a quick water break. I'm gonna grab our timer here. We're gonna go into some Tabatas here to end things up. We're gonna do a little bit of conditioning. Oops. Put this right here. Okay, so we're gonna do um, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, either one, we're going to do some cleans and some presses. All right, so we're going to get, we're going to really triple down on those shoulders. So your clean and press is going to come from the ground. We're going to tap the ground, pull that, pull that to your shoulder, and then press up overhead. All right, we're going to stay all on the same arm for 20 seconds, rest for 10, and then we'll go to the other side. Okay? Um... If you're on the second floor, or if you're worried about uh, your actual hardwood floors, I would recommend bring a towel over, or just come just above the ground without slamming into the ground. All right, let's do it. We'll get that prep time. Go ahead. Let's start in that non-dominant side. For me, it's gonna be my left side. Uh, we're gonna work that side first. Let's get ready. In three, two, one and go so we're gonna clean and press all the way down and up so we're gonna stay on that side again for 20 seconds we're just working get our heart rate up a little bit and some conditioning last three two one and rest all right we're about 10 seconds just to say check that off we're gonna move to the other arm your dominant side right side Two, one, and go. So same movement, pulling to the shoulder and pressing overhead. You notice I am gonna use those legs a little bit in that overhead press. 
That's just to kind of help get that weight up. Last two, one, and relax. Uh, but also help keep a rhythm. So we're kind of down, up, down, up. All right, helps me stay out of it. Back to the left side or non dominant side. Same deal. So we got one round down of both. We're going to go three more rounds of both all together for four total or eight across the two sides. The last three, two, one, and relax. All right. Back to the dominant side. Ready in three, two, one, go. So if you notice as well, tend to keep that hand to the chest or to the abdomen. Again, just to making sure that we are, have tension through that core or just a reminder to keep that hand off the leg and to work to keep that chest nice and high and relax. All right, so two rounds down. If you have a kettlebell, show you what this looks like with a kettlebell. We're in the same, con or same situation, making sure it's getting to the outside of our wrist on that clean and punch it up. Last five seconds, good couple reps. Two, one, and relax. All right, looking good, folks. Round number three on that dominant side. In two, one, go. Remember that overhead press position that we've worked so much on today. Make sure you're reaching straight up. All right, bringing those knuckles to the sky. Good bicep to ear. And rest. All right, we've got one last round each way. We're really going to push the envelope here. Get ready. And go. All the way down, all the way up. Nice and strong. Final 10 seconds on that non dominant side. Yeah, heart rate up a little bit. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, oof. One more time, folks, one more time. Last 20 seconds work. Get ready in two, one, go. Make sure we're loading those hips, pressing through the ground each time we pull. On that clean, each time we press on that overhead. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, folks. We finish a couple minutes early. We're going to get a little mobilization. I'm sure the shoulders feel great. We're actually going to finish the same way that we started with those T spine um, stretches. All right, with that protraction, retraction of the shoulder blades. So go ahead and lock those fingers together. We're going to push those palms out, create space between those shoulder blades. Try to bring that heart rate under control at the same time. Flip that around and pull it back. Really try to get those ears away from the shoulders. Pull those shoulders down. Shoulder blades sucking into our back pockets. Big breaths. Next exhale. Release, push the other way. We're around that back. So we're not hinging forward, still pushing those palms straight against the wall in front of us. And flip it over, pull it back. Good proud chest, long neck. Tuck that chin in. And last time, big inhale. Exhale, reach. Create space between those shoulder blades. Again, big reach. And next inhale, bring it in. Settle into that position. Shoulder blades tucked down. And relax. All right, that's all we have for you today, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you got a good 
little workout in there on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Uh, that's all we have for you. If you're hanging around, we do have uh, strength flow in just a couple minutes. So if you're hanging around, I will see you then. Otherwise, see you next week.